In this video, we'll learn a bit about how to navigate the Durham Tech Library website. Start by going to the Durham Tech homepage, which is, of course, durhamtech.edu. Then take your browser over here to Quick Links. Scroll down to Library and go to the Durham Tech Library website. Here you can find a lot of great information, such as research tools, your catalogs and databases, some research help, library guides, and some great help with citations, general information such as when the library is open and some frequently asked questions, and then your library forms. You might want to pay attention to this interlibrary loan request form. If you find a book that you think will be perfect for your speech, but the Durham Tech Library doesn't have it, you can also request it from another area library. Now this does take a few days in order for the library to acquire the book. So you wanna make sure that you do it well in advance of when you might need the book for your speech. We're gonna go back over here to research tools to the book and DVD catalog. Now for the purposes of this video, let's assume that we're going to be giving an informative speech on the painter Vincent Van Gogh. Great. Let's type in the words Vincent van Gogh as a keyword in our library catalog. Now you've said 10 things show up. So let's take a look at something that might be applicable for our speech. Here, Vincent, a video recording, the life and death of Vincent van Gogh. Click on it to get some additional information. It appears to be a docudrama from 2005 and it's 99 minutes. Great. This is something that we'll want to keep a lookout for when we head to the actual library. You can see this number. That's where you find it inside the library. So you'll want to make sure that you write that down. So then we'll go back and see what else we might be able to find about Mr. Van Gogh. This looks good. A book titled Vincent Van Gogh. Great. It was written in 2000. That's good. And this is the information that you'll need to find it. You can also see that it's on the lower level of the library. And take a look at one more record. Huh. Vincent by himself. A selection of his paintings and drawings. Great. We'll take a look at this and we'll see that there's one copy available and it's in the circulating books. And this here is how you'll find it. Awesome. So we know that if we go to the Durham Tech Library, we can find at least three sources for our speech on Vincent van Gogh. Now, you might not be able to make it to the library and that's okay. You can also go here to the Articles, Journals, and Databases research tool. This is especially to find lots of great information from lots of sources. You can see that there's 98 individual databases that you can search for. Now, if you want to take a look here, it shows you some of the subjects that you can look at. Oh, art history. That looks perfect for us since this is a historical speech about an artist. Click on art history and we'll see what some of the databases are. Oh, JSTOR. This is one of our best bets. It's scholarly journal articles for many subject areas, including arts. So we'll click on JSTOR and see what we might be able to find about Vincent van Gogh. Now, you'll want to enter your username and password to make sure that you are a Durham Tech student and that you're able to access it. I am, so I can do it. All right, so let's search JSTOR for Vincent van Gogh. And see what comes up. Hmm, bunch of different journal articles. Let's see what might be a great one. Well, this is free. It's Personal Recollections of Vincent van Gogh. 
So we'll take a look at what we can find there. It's art in progress. And it talks a little bit about Vincent. Well, that's probably not going to help us that much. So we'll see what else we can find. Let's see about this. The mulberry tree, one of his paintings. This is a poem. Probably not something that can help us. So we'll go back to our search results. Sometimes it does take a little searching in to find what it is that you want. How about Vincent Van Gogh in Alabama, 1938? Oh, this looks a lot more interesting. Information about Van Gogh and the Metropolitan, the New York Museum of Modern Art. This might be great. In that case, we'll click on Download PDF in order to download the PDF to our personal computer so that we can read it later. There you go. Here, most importantly, is the information that you will need for your Works Cited page. Then, if you continue on, you'll see the article giving you lots of great information about Vincent van Gogh and his exhibits. Excellent. Now we'll see perhaps an easier way to search for information. We'll go back to what's called library guides. We saw now the Durham Tech librarians have worked really hard to find a lot of information in a short period of time, depending on the class that you're taking. Now, as you scroll down, you can see that there's resources for biology, for art history, etc. We'll scroll down to the public speaking one, where the wonderful librarians of Durham Tech have already put together a library guide for your public speaking class. Here we have the home page where you can see our smiling librarian, Julie, who put this together, and some great information. Here you have choose a topic, which gives you great information about how to select your topic if you need help. Finding materials in the library, exactly where we are. And here's a direct link to the online catalog search where we found those few information pieces about Vincent van Gogh. Now here's finding articles, where you can find some general databases that you'll be able to find information about Vincent van Gogh. Let's click here, ProQuest Central, one that the librarians have said that is something that you can probably find information on. It's brought to you by NC Live. Great, Vincent van go let's see what we can find with vincent in the full text all right the first article talks about fresh angles on a favorite sun the second about fans celebrating the artist's 150th birthday well this looks great let's take a click and see what's up you can see abstract talks about the Van Gogh Museum. Great. And here you have the full text. It gives you some good information. When Van Gogh was born, his best work, and his importance in art history. Now, it's a pretty short article, but that's okay. We don't need it to be a 500 page book in order for it to be a good source. And you can also find all the information here. It's from the Niagara Falls Review out of Niagara Falls, Ontario, written by Toby Sterling in March of 2003. Then you can click Save as PDF, and you can download a PDF of this tech. Now, 
What else might we be able to find? I'll help speech on Vincent Bell. How the Germans invented Vincent Van Gogh. That sounds pretty interesting. Oh, and there is our article that we can find. And we will just scroll down here. How the Germans invented him. What we get from this article. This is from the Independent on Sunday, which is a newspaper based out of London in the United States. It's from, the article itself is from December 2006. Tells you the abstract first, so you'll know if it's information that, and then it talks more about it. Great, another excellent source for us. Again, we could click on Save as PDF, and it will download the PDF directly to us. Or we can click Email, and it can email the PDF information to you as well. Great. You can also use the Academic One file, the CQ Researcher, and any number of other pieces of information to get you more information about your source, Vincent Van Gogh. So that's a little bit of information on how to use the Durham Tech Library websites in order to do research for your speech.